an outrage. Lionel Richie's wife is asking for $300,000 a month in alimony. For what? Lionel wrote all the songs. But the wife was the inspiration behind all the songs. No, she was the inspiration to never get married. <laughs> Look, when they got married, she became accustomed to a certain lifestyle. You can't expect a woman to start eating I can't believe it's not lobster without a fight. <laughs> You American women are just spoiled. In Cuba, after a divorce, all a woman gets is a raft and a push. Bye -bye. What's up, Karen? Hey, Kevin. Hello, everybody. Meet my number one moneymaker. Oh, hey, Uncle Kevin. I thought they weren't supersizing things anymore. <laughs> Brianna, I'm the manager. When people see this out front, they're going to be flocking the fat heads. It's called advertising. Okay? Two years at Baltimore Community College. BCC, baby! <laughs> what makes you think people want to come here just because you here? Excuse me? Who does P. Diddy fly in personally on his private jet just to cut his hair? And, uh, who gave Ashton Kutcher the little raggedy shag look? And who cut Bobby Brown hair every time before he went to jail? All three times. <laughs> this guy. Hey, y'all, uh, who's the one who got fired for damn near cutting the rapper's ear off? This, this guy. <laughs> Y'all clown me if y'all want, but you better be on your best behavior when my big bro Flex gets here with the new arm. That means walk, no gambling. Gambling? Ah, oh, man, come on. I just like to play cards a lot. For money. <laughs> hey, what up, Flex? Flexito, what's up? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Kev is cut out for the barbershop business. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, anyway. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Jack Sherwood. Hi. This is my daughter, Tiffany. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm your new owner. He's talking about the barbershop, right? <laughs> you get the new owner? But, but you're Jack Sherwood. Jack Sherwood. Uh, this is my little brother, Kevin. Uh, he often repeats himself. At home, we call him Kevin two times. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, excuse me for a moment, please. Flex, Brianna, uh, family meeting. Hi. I'm Candy. Welcome to Fatheads. Hi. Oh, look, you've got a purse just like mine. Oh, n not exactly. Fendi starts with an F, not an E. <laughs> <laughs> Family meeting. Flex, Jack Sherwood owns Speedy Cuts. You know they take mom and pop shops and turn them into generic haircutting factories. Man, all I care about is my speedy check. I'll be good. I don't need another job. I already have a full-time job being your loving daughter. Yes, I know. And you're fired. And where does that have to get off knocking my knock off? Will you forget about that? All right, we got real problems here. They don't use our cones. <laughs> Apparently, you don't either. Tiffany, you ran up a $50,000 American Express bill in one weekend by shopping and partying. But, Daddy, membership has its privileges. Just because Jack Sherwood owns fat heads doesn't mean he's going to change it. You better be right, Flex. You better be right. Oh, come on. Give him a chance, Uncle Two Dimes. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry about that. Me and my brother was just catching up on America's Top Model. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kevin Barnes, your new manager. Oh, pleased to meet you, Kevin. Tiffany will be managing the shop with you. Uh, family meeting. <laughs> Is anybody paying attention? They don't use our cones. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the manager. Made a life-size cutout and everything. You? Life-size? <laughs> Let's go, Bree. But, Daddy, don't you have one of those yourself? Uh, yes, baby, but Daddy's a star. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sherwood. When uh, my brother arranged for me to be managing the shop, he failed to mention that I will be assisted by uh, her. Hi. Her has a name. It's Tiffany, and I don't assist anybody. That's true. She never helps with anything. <laughs> Tiffany, if you and Kevin make this place profitable and you show me you can be responsible, you can enjoy all the perks of being a Sherwood again. But, Daddy, I need money. How am I going to live? 
Like most people, Tiffany, you're going to work for it. And no more traveling from hotel to hotel. You're going to get an apartment and start paying rent. Here's a small stipend to get you through the month. Well, well if you'll excuse me, there's some kids circling the limo. <laughs> Bye, princess. kind of way. <laughs> you know, it's fine for most people, but I would never shop there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because they don't have a spoiled brat section? <laughs> I don't know. I said I don't shop there. <laughs> Kevin, I was just in the office and I was bored, so I started looking the books and guess what? We're not making any money. So, what you plan to get me out of here? You don't see my big manly portrait out front? I mean, it's just another marketing tool I picked up from the BCC. <laughs> and here's another one. Mention my name, Kevin Barnes, and you get a free haircut. Kevin, Kevin Barnes. Hey. Congratulations, Kevin. You're actually losing us money now. Oh, oh, and what, do you have a better idea? Uh, oh, I know. We'll put in a cappuccino machine and listen to techno music all day and totally rave, dude. <laughs> Do we really want to resort to stereotypes? Homie. <laughs> but actually, who doesn't love cappuccinos? People are buying them across the street at the new Starbucks. Things are changing in this neighborhood, mister. And how would you know? Because when I got out of the limo and tried to run away, I noticed a few things. Like they're putting in a bookstore across the street and a trattoria. You know what I heard about that place? Isn't that where Dracula's from? <laughs> Yes, Walt. They're opening a vampire store across the street. For real? Look, the point is, I've been to the best spas all over the world. If we bring in some upscale services, like some sea salt scrubs or milk and honey facials, we can attract a new upscale clientele. Yeah, and by the time they get here, they would have spent all their money. Back in the BCC, we call that economics. Oh, well... I don't have a fancy community college degree like you, but before I got kicked out of Yale, we called that stupid. See, you rich people don't know anything about making money. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go print out my coupons. Tiffany, girl, ignore him. He's got issues. He's a guy. Oh, well, what are his issues? Aren't you listening? He's a guy. Girl, I have to sit here and listen to this ignorance all day long. You know, Tiffany, this barbershop doesn't need a vampire store across the street. What it really needs is a werewolf store. They always need a cut. <laughs> Are these flowers? Is, is that a waterfall? Oh, hell no. Nah. Somebody has warmified my station. So we're going to need a couple of treatment rooms for massages, and I'd like to put a facial station next to the waterfall. Oh, Kevin. Uh, Tiffany, what have you done? Welcome to Serenity. Huh? Serenity. An urban oasis where you can pluck, scrub, and wax away the stress of the day. Here at Serenity. No, 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 no. You're not about to come up in here and change what it took my father 40 years to build. <laughs> this is a barber shop for men. Uh-uh. An urban oasis where men are welcome. But women are preferred. Hey, <laughs> man, how you let this happen? My hands were tied. Well, not so much tied as they were soaking in paraffin. <laughs> my hands never felt so soft. It's like somebody else is touching. <laughs> This is my girl, Kendra. We have been best friends ever since our daddies donated buildings at Yale. And they still <laughs> kicked us out. I got my daddy to pull some strings. I got you two of the best styles from his record label and my cousin. Because she just got out of rehab. <laughs> Girls! Cousin Bethany, I'll take, I'll take that. So this is your big plan? To bring in a slightly healthier Whitney Houston? <laughs> 
stylists are gonna put serenity on the map and turn blue collar Baltimore into a rainbow of fabulousness. Ladies, let's be beautify. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hold up, hold up, that's my station. You can't just be coming up in here and moving my stuff <laughs> without some help from me. <laughs> hey, man, get up, come on, we gotta do something. Can't right now, man. <laughs> it's like I'm in seventh grade all over again. <laughs> hey, Mr. Joe, you're next, bro. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I came down here to get a haircut and talk about women, not see them. <laughs> I don't mind old C cup over there, but <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Men are running away from here in droves. More women, more problems. Ain't that right, C Cup? Sure is, D Cup. Man, come on, man. We gotta do something quick. I'm way ahead of you, bro. We baked them out for some paella and sangria. Then tomorrow, they're so exhausted from our lovemaking, they cannot fight us. <laughs> Okay, you hold on to that, all right? <laughs> but for right now, we gotta show them how the brothers roll. Ain't that right, Big Walk? <laughs> Present that it's Neanderthal Americans. <laughs> hey, yo, Ace, give me a brew. No problem, bro. Straight from the Rocky Fountain. <laughs> How we do, you, know? you turned my waterfall into a beer fall. Well, yeah, the frozen margaritas were clogging it up. <laughs> None of these changes are going to make us any more money than Serenity. Well, you have your vision, and I got mine. <laughs> right now, my vision is raking in the coin. Cut change! <laughs> Kendra, get off his lap. Tiffany, don't be jealous. Get your own middle-class man. <laughs> you know what? I cannot work under these conditions. As co-manager, I demand as much say in this shop as you. And I say it's Serenity. Fathead. Serenity. Fathead. Serenity. Fine. You run Serenity, I'll run Fathead. Fine. 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 <laughs> gonna do? Oh, I'll show you what we gonna do. Big Ace, hit him! Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. They call us Fathead. 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 That's how we do it, cause we're crazy like a bad head. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it, ladies. We have Gunther. Mm. Gunther, tea, please. Oh. <laughs> What's your idea of serenity being served by Euro Trash from Chumbadale? <laughs> well, uh, I'm feeling pretty serene. How about you, lady? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want a real man? I'll uh -huh. show you a real Come man. Come on, bro. Show, 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 show. Who wants a haircut? Get out. Get out. Shake it. Who wants a manicure? Bring your filthy nails. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Who wants to dance? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm going to no. No, no. You want to party? I'll show you how to party. Who wants a massage? <laughs>
Go, Tiffany. <laughs> okay, Daddy. What you saw out there was me being an efficient manager. No. What I saw was you doing what you always do, making life one big party. I thought if I brought you here and gave you some responsibility, you would appreciate the merit of hard work. I entrusted one of my businesses to you, and what did you do? You shimmied all over it. Y'all be quiet, I can't hear. Rich people don't talk as loudly as we do. And I hope she get what she deserves. Always thinking things should go her way. Uh, Kevin, put your shirt back on, man. You leave me no choice, Tiffany. I tried to give you a chance to do it your way. But, Daddy... You're my daughter, and I love you, but I'm also a businessman. That's why I'm going to make fat heads like the rest of my shops and bring someone in from corporate to supervise you. But, I mean, what's going to happen to Kevin and Candy and the rest of the guys? I'll get the nice severance packages, and they'll find other jobs. He's talking about changing my father's business into one of those cookie-cutter drive through shots where you can get a bad haircut and an oil change. <laughs> haircut? Oil change? Donuts. <laughs> Crispy Lou. I thought of it. It's my idea. Hey, Man, shut up. Move out my way. Daddy, this neighborhood doesn't need a speedy cut. The world doesn't need another speedy cut. They're boring, they're unoriginal, and by the way, your conditioner at least my hair very greasy. Greasy? Hmm. I have ten homes that say, oh well. <laughs> Mr. Sherwood, well, I've only got one home, and this is it. Now, I know you might have walked in on the strangest moment in Fathead's history, but, uh... <laughs> Truth is, Tiff and I, we just getting our groove. Call me Tiff, Kev. Don't slow my roll, girl. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make some mistakes. But we also gonna make some cheddar. Dough, bread. Dinero! <laughs> Look, I mean, it's not all Tiffany's fault. I did play a very, very small part in it also. The truth is, she's not all party. She did come up with some good ideas. And Kevin had one. One more than you. <laughs> and, well, business is up 35%. You don't say. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but, uh, women are willing to spend a lot of money to correct nature's mistakes. <laughs> All right. I'll let you two kids do what you're doing. For now. But I'll be checking on you. Good job, princess. Tea? <laughs> Kevin, thanks for helping me save Serenity. Oh, I didn't save Serenity. <laughs> I saved fatheads. But I have to admit, having women in the shop does give the place a new flavor. <laughs> it all fits into my plan. Uh, what plan? Oh, well, it's my plan, but I'll let you in as we go along. Hey, everyone. Your first Verenity paychecks are here. Oh, nice. Thank nice. you. Yeah. This place has changed a lot since Tiffany and my little brother Kev have taken over. Yep, they're getting paid and everything. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany. You know, I'm not feeling this whole unisex thing. We need to get some partitions for my clients. Women don't want to be seen looking like ghetto tin men. <laughs> Honey, you look fine. But do you mind tilting your head? The reflection's blinding me. <laughs> oh, maybe I spoke too soon. You got a brother checking you out. Man, she look jacked up. <laughs> head looking like a baked potato. Come on, dog. At least you know what you're getting. I mean, if she looked like that at her worst, imagine her at her best. Well, I guess her worst ain't bad. All right, that's what's up. You cool? Uh, uh, hey, sorry, I couldn't help but notice you. <laughs> Give me a call sometime. I will. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the hookup. Just one of the many benefits here at. Ferenity. Oh, 
girl, he's a meat inspector. Throw him back. Oh. You women are a trip. I mean, first you complain that a brother don't got a job, and then you complain about the one he got. <laughs> a police dog has a job, and ain't nobody trying to hook up with Cujo either. <laughs> Women don't know what y'all want. And you men want it all. You want us to be your mothers, your lovers, and your friends. Yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Ain't nobody said nothing about being no friend. <laughs> <laughs>to bother you because I know you all torn up and stuff. I'm fine. Such a brave soldier. <laughs> anyway, look, I made you something to help you through this trying time. All right? I call it my you were too good for Arnez anyway mix. <laughs> I'm every woman because you represent. I will survive because I know you will. <laughs> and sexual healing, which I personally think is the way to go. <laughs> Everyone going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, I don't need no man. No, I don't need. Wait a minute. Where is everybody going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Wait a second. You guys were going out without me? No. We were ditching our nights too. See ya. <laughs> Wait, why? Just because we broke up, you don't think we can't hang out with each other? Pretty much. But. <laughs> Look, I don't have a problem with it. Do you have a problem with it, Arnett? Hey, if you don't have a problem with it, I sure don't. I just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> hey, will you stop checking out Arnett? Chris Brown is the one with the Rolex. Uh, actually, um, I, I was checking out D-Mag. He's kind of hot. Back off, sister. I've been working that for two years. Huh? Yo, this house must be higher up than I thought because right now I'm looking at an angel. Oh my God, Chris Brown! How you doing? I know who I am, but I'm interested in who you are. I I'm Brianna. Brianna, Brianna. Kind of hot. Oh, uh oh. Oh, but you're also only 16. These ain't nothing but a number. Tell me. So, if you're not afraid of calling a 16 year old and afraid of a little jail time, here's my card. <laughs> oh my God! You just turned down Chris Brown. He's 16. So, by the time you decide to have sex with him, he'll be 18. Another prosciutto wrap shrimp for the lovely lady. Compliments to the chef. Oh, 
Hold on, it's full free. Hey, you made these? They're wonderful. Keep them coming. Oh, I plan to. I'll take nothing. I thought I could handle this. This is weird being at the same party as my ex-girlfriend. Especially when she's acting like we never went out. There's a lot of people here. You could go the whole night and not worry about seeing her. <laughs> oh, God, here she comes. Hey. Hey. Isn't this a beautiful view? Great visibility. Surprise, it's not cloudy. Barometer's been falling all day. <sighs> okay, stop talking about the weather. Why don't you both just admit that you're uncomfortable around each other so we can all get on with our partly cloudy lives? I have no idea what you're talking about. Not only am I good with our breakup, I have so moved on. Oh, so you moved on? Just like that? Well, of course. That's what people do when they have a huge fight and break up. They move on. Haven't you moved on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm more than moved on. Uh-huh, I moved on so much. I'm actually back where I started. Yeah, in fact, I've moved on so much, I'm thinking about what to say to that cute girl over there. Okay. Good for you. And since I've moved on so much, too, I'm gonna help you out with that by introducing you. D don't do it, man. The minute she says hi, Brianna's gonna shank her with a cocktail soap. Uh. Don't be silly. Now, come on and let me do all the talking. You're not so good at it. Uh, so well at it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, my friend is kind of shy, but he would really like to meet you. Oh, a guy that cute doesn't have to be shy. Really? Oh, see, you two have something in common already. He thinks he's cute, too. <laughs> I like those jeans. They look well on you. Oh, thank you. What country are you from? <laughs> Then I was bringing to the back. Oh, hurt? More food? Oh, this is great. Yo, I can eat this air day. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is for the beautiful lady. I didn't get your name. It's Sarah. Renalta. And I'm Lisa, and I'm starving. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make you a fresh batch. It's okay. I am just as interested in the chef as I am in the food. You know, you're really good at what you do. I'm good at everything I do. Do you do barbecue? Excuse me? Oh, don't pay attention to them. They're just my roommates. Uh, roommates who would like to invite you to their barbecue tomorrow. Yeah, you know, so you two can get to know each other in a more relaxed, casual environment on our patio, which happens to have a grill. So can you come? Will you be there? Yes. Then I'll come. Can I bring anything? Everything here tonight was good. Good. Until tomorrow. I look forward to it. <laughs> hey, in case you guys didn't notice, I have just hooked up Arnez, which proves I have moved up. <laughs> now, if you and I were laying in bed together naked, <laughs> I'd believe. <laughs> I'm not going to warn you again. These are the best ribs I've ever had. Are you sure your mama's white? And Sarah likes ribs, right? Because I'm making these for her. Don't worry about Sarah. If she won't date you, I will. That wasn't really the plan. Of course Sarah will date him. Wait till she tastes the cornbread. I didn't make any cornbread. No cornbread? What, are you afraid of love? No, I love love. Sarah loves cornbread. <laughs> okay, the lemonade is done. I guess I'll move on to Megan's and Punch. <laughs> well, when I finish shucking this corn, I'll move on to shucking whatever else needs to be shucked. Hey, how do I look? Because I just checked Ronaldo's credit rating and it's through the roof. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, but you better hurry up because you've got competition. As soon as Cash tasted the ribs, he wouldn't put on his best shirt. <laughs> That is a nice shirt. <laughs> Rise and shine, girls. We've got work to do. All done. Now this corn is free from its oppressive husk. Feels good to be free, doesn't it, corn? Okay, now you're talking to the corn. 
Well, it's not like we're talking. You know what? You're right. This is silly. We've been friends for too long to be treating each other like this. We should stop playing games and just talk to each other like normal people. No more dumb weather talk. No more talking to produce. <laughs> Let's just be real and honest with each other. Okay, I'd like that. See, that'd be nice. Because ever since we broke up... Oh, wait, just a second. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm closer. No, really, I... I, I... Hi! Brianna, right? Alicia! What are you doing here? Oh, Arnaz invited me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say Arnez invited you? Yeah, I invited her last night. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I put these sodas in the fridge? Oh, I got them. Uh, no, I'll get them. No, I said I'll take them. Get them. Give them to me. <laughs> Boy, you guys must really love soda. Look, I invited her last night before, you know, we decided to be real with each other. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't have a problem with this. You don't. I thought we were being honest with each other. You mean to tell me that you don't care that I invited her here? Of course not. Why should I? I just hope it doesn't rain today. Oh, great. Now we're talking about the weather again. For your information, there's only a 20% chance of rain. She's a 90% chance of sunshine. So, are we the only ones here? Because I'm not much of a weather buff. Oh, no. Everybody else is out back. Come here. I'll show you. Hey, everybody. Look who's here. It's Alicia. I guess she and Arnez hit it off because he invited her to the barbecue. So come on, everyone. Let's say hi to Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Damn shame somebody that fine dying so young. Oh, excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Here, let me show you. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I'll show her. No, I'll show her. I'll show her. Go. We always go in twos. It's a girl thing. What the hell were you thinking, Arnez? Brianna's gonna kill that girl. Yeah, we haven't even finished our appetizers yet. Now I just got done telling me how honest she wants us to be. Now she's playing some kind of game like she doesn't care that Alicia's here. Well, I'm gonna make her stop fronting. Even if it costs Alicia most of her hair. Oh my God, what have you done with Alicia? <laughs> she's in the bathroom. Oh, all right, think, think, think. Um, we wrap her body up in a shower curtain and then dump it just outside of Barsta. <laughs> Here, take the back roads. Wait, why do I have to do it? I have a date. Okay, you two are scaring me. Why would I want to kill her? He should have never brought her to the house. How many times do I have to tell you guys? I have moved on. Now, come on, let's go enjoy the barbecue. You know, your food is delicious. My research indicates. I mean, your catering company must do very well. Oh, it does, but my dream is to open my own restaurant and share it with the woman I love. Mm. You mean as in share the net profit? <laughs> share everything, just like my dad did with my mom. They're partners. He cooks, she cleans. He drives to the fish market, she loads the fish barrels. He drives home, she cleans and guts the fish. She is going to love meeting you. Oh, my God, the poor woman's still alive? Uh, will you excuse me for the rest of my life? Things heating up with the love chef? Oh, he doesn't want a girlfriend. He wants a Gorton's fisherman. Keep him away from me. So did Sarah say anything about me? She's totally into you. But, but I think a chocolate mousse would really push you over the edge. <laughs> chocolate mousse it is. I'll go start the car. <laughs> Cute bathing suit. I told Alicia we'd get such great rays in the patio. She might want to bring a bathing suit. Thank you, bro. Come on, 
Alicia. Sit down next to me. Yeah. And don't forget your sunblock. I wouldn't want you to burn. Thanks, Brianna. Arnez, will you do me? I'll do you if you do me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Arnez. Do Alicia before she gets too hot. And that wouldn't upset you? Not as much as our guest getting skin cancer. Now do her. Since you insist, I'd love to do her. Hmm. Is this what you want, Brianna? Forget it. I cannot watch this anymore. Yes. Give me that lotion. Ooh, here comes the beam more beat down. <laughs> and once Alicia's on the ground, maybe we can get in a few kicks. <laughs> now, it takes a woman to know how this is really done. This is better than a No, jet. no, no. Don't ruin this moment with words. <laughs> okay, thanks for your help, but I'll take it from here. Oh, no, 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 but I want to help. After all, I want to be polite to the girl who you invited to our house, who we don't know, to come to our barbecue out of the goodness of your hormones. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I meant heart. Isn't this what you wanted, huh, Brianna? You're the one who introduced us. You're the one who thought she was so cute. You're the one who's so happy that she's here. Okay, okay, that's it. I don't even know why I go to these kind of parties. All you L.A. freaks want to do is have orgies, and I am not going to end up on the Internet. Again. I knew I recognized her. I liked you as a blonde. <laughs> Alicia, please. Let me explain. Oh, this turned out to be a great day for a barbecue. Ooh, cornbread. <laughs> no, don't even think about calling me. And that goes for your little touchy-feely girlfriend, too. What the hell was that? Why can't you just yell and pull out her hair like a normal black woman? Why? Is that what you wanted? As a matter of fact, it was. Why do you think I invited her here? You've been so cool with everything, it's like you're not even hurting at all. Like I am. Of course I'm hurting. I've just been acting, okay? Because I thought if I faked it well enough, I believe it, and it wouldn't hurt so much. But, to be honest, seeing you with her was killing me. Really? The truth is, I'm not really ready to see you with somebody else yet. I guess this is going to be harder than I thought it would be. Well, it didn't help you force an Alicia on me. But you do have a good taste, though. <laughs> so what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we need some rules. Okay. Um, what if the house was neutral territory? Off limits for dates. Okay. Here's one. If you start dating another guy that you like, you have to wait the previously established five years before having sex. <laughs> Deal? Deal. <laughs> Chocolate mousse. Sweets for my sweet. I'm sorry, I, I don't eat chocolate. It makes me break out. But the guy said it was your favorite. They promised me it was the way into your heart. Oh, the guy said that, did they? No, 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 no. We, we said that she loves the chocolate mousse. <laughs> That's my nickname around the house. <laughs> they call me Baked Alaska. Was out, we were all getting the dessert nicknames. You were shutting up, Cupcake. <laughs> so, this is just a joke to you people? You're just using me? Let me leave you with one more of my specialties. Brianna, you moving back in with your mama. Daddy, this is our electronic baby for home ec class. We have to pretend we're married and take care of it for a whole week. Morning, noon, and night. I am hungry. 
You hungry? You want a hot pocket? Yeah. Okay, I'll make it three. Well, Dad, uh, Mr. Father-in-law, Mr. Washington, now that we're related, I think I should have a key, don't you? Don't let a little school project cost you your life, boy. What are they teaching y'all in the public school system today, huh? How y'all gonna learn anything from playing house? Hopefully not to become teenage parents like you and Mom. God bless the public school system. <laughs> Wow, it's so clean in here. So, you're dating a maid again? <laughs> you know better than that. Your Aunt Bernadette is coming in from Texas on a way to New York on a business trip. And I want everything to be as perfect as she is. I know. She's smart, she's successful, and I can really learn a lot from her. Mm -hmm. Man, where was your sister when I was single? <laughs> Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no When there's nobody around oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What oh, don't you love where you're from? Baby, you can stay there Living one-on-one, one-on-one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Living one-on-one That -one. yeah. was just because Now we have a fair Living one-on-one One-on-one You know, I had a little move that worked all the time when you were a baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why would you just shut up? I see you've got your mother's touch. Oh, please let there be Child Protective Services coming to take this baby away. All right, that's not funny, Dwayne. Do you mind moving your big head? I'm looking for my brother. And I'm looking for the other half of my sister. You know the half that blocks the sun? <laughs> wow, you look so much weight, you look great. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the look I was going for. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Auntie Bernadette in the head. Oh, my God, Bernadette. I haven't seen you so long. You look so big, so <laughs> mature, so teenage motherish. Mm-hmm, like father, like daughter. <laughs> Nothing. This baby's got batteries. It's a project for school. Oh, oh that's a dirty diaper oh. cry. Time to go hose this thing down. What happened to my cute little chubby wubby baby sister with the dimples in her knees? Oh. Well, you used to hide the M&M. Oh. <laughs> no, I had to lose weight. I was tired of my knees being sticky. <laughs> well, at least this time you can fit on the sofa bed. <laughs> Here? You know, with mom in Atlantic City, I already know dad's probably sitting around in his boxes, scratching, waiting for her to come home before he showers. Yeah. So my baby sister is going to New York on an interview to be a lawyer. Well, I am going to New York to interview, but not with a law firm. Uh, Justice Department? Uh, uh, District Attorney's Office. Even better. I'm gonna be a model. I've got an agent and I've already taken some pictures. Man, I don't know, sis. You gave up law to vote. <laughs> Flex, I'll always have my law degree to fall back on. I don't think it's a good idea, sis. Mom and dad are gonna be ticked off. To send you to law school, Dad is still driving that old 86 Volkswagen. <laughs> it's so sad watching him drive to work in reverse. <laughs> I just hope Dad doesn't get too upset with me. You know how he gets. And somebody's got to tell him. Well, could you? Say what? <laughs> no, it's okay. Never mind. I was just... Thinking about how when we were kids, you used to fight all my battles. Mm -hmm. But you can't be my hero forever. I was your hero? Well, yeah. I mean, every time I would get in trouble, you would fly in like Superman and save me. 
All the girls in the neighborhood were jealous because I had a big, strong brother. Even that early bloomer, Samantha? Especially Samantha. I knew it. <laughs> anyway, it's okay, because, you know, we're all grown up, and it's time for me to stand up to Dad. Let me handle it for you. Thank you, Flex! <laughs> hey, Flex, got all your newspaper? You need to check my horoscope. Oh. I see it's Foxy Lady and Dwayne Rising. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Dwayne Odell... <laughs> Chubby baby burning? Is it... <laughs> Hi, Dwayne. Oh, well, look at you. <laughs> you went off to Texas six years ago looking like a twisted sister, and you come back looking like a William sister. <laughs> yeah. Let me just say I'm glad you're not my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hi, baby. How's the baby doing? How'd you do that? Well, I don't know. I mean, at first, I was a little depressed that there weren't enough boys to go around and that I had to be a single mom. But it seems I have a gift. Either that or you're just a really bad mom. What's up, little mama? Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. All right. We can hit the movies tonight? Um, actually, I can't. Arnez and I have to pick out preschools for Junior. I don't know if I'm feeling this. You and... Goldilocks and too much history. Don't worry, Josh. I have my priorities straight. Arnez may be my husband, but you're my boyfriend. Nah, that's my girl. Okay. All right. See, All right. See you later. Hmm. Josh. Hmm. Arnez. <laughs> How's Arnez Jr.? Uh-uh. You can give him your name, but you can't give him your time. Husband, mm. okay, the breadwinner, leader of my household. <coughs> I've been out there busting my hump at band practice. You've been sitting around lunching with all the other mothers. Look, I wasn't assigned this baby by myself. He's your responsibility too. It's the office. Hey, Ginger, baby. That's not the office. That's just a lot of work. Okay, I'll bring you some chicken soup after school. Bye. Uh-uh. You are not going up over there. You took some vows in sickness and in health. Now, my girlfriend's sick, and I'm going to go make her healthy. Okay? Now, till death do us part. <laughs> Single parents meet Fridays at the Y, in case you're interested. Where's my little girl? Daddy! <laughs> Holy cow! That's the first time I've ever been able to hug you and have my hands touch. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> so how is my big-time lawyer daughter? Uh, Flex, did you see Daddy? All right, what's going on? Uh, all right, I'm coming to sit down. Might as well cut to the chase. <laughs> Remember, Pop, how supportive and understanding you were when I wanted to chase my dream? Are you trying out for the NBA again? For God's sake, son, now it's just pathetic. No, and obviously all that understanding and support must have slipped your mind. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Bernadette, your brother has dropped more bombs on me than a bush on Baghdad. This time, I got good news for you, Pop. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of being a boring old lawyer, <laughs> Bernadette is going to become an exciting fashion model. <laughs> Yay! What? Dad, I know you wanted me to be a lawyer, but I was miserable. It's not all courtroom trials and surprise witnesses. It's a lot of reading, filing, and tedium. Daddy, I just wanted some excitement and glamour in my life. Of course you do. So you're not mad? Oh, well, not with you, baby. With you! Me? <laughs> Glamour and excitement? That sounds like something you put in her head. No. Oh, Flex, wait till your mother finds out what you did. But it will kill her. If I'm lucky, I can catch her before she leaves her room. Uh, yeah, well, that went well. <laughs> Nice, baby. <laughs>
Baby. <laughs> Wait, baby. Where is Arnaz? He is two hours late. You know what? He probably with Ginger. And you're with me. Yeah, but we're supposed to turn in our family budget tomorrow. What type of father is he? You know, Bree, if he were your real husband, you could divorce him and take half of everything he has. And then we could take that half and go on vacation. <laughs> Wait, where would we go on half of what he has? Your house? <laughs> hey, here. Take the baby and act like you've been holding him all day. Oh, I get it. Uh, hold up. Just let me get this peanut out of his nose. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right, our assignment. Oh, come on in, come on in. I just have Josh here helping me out with our son. What, Nina? I know you don't have some other man here to hold my child. Uh, excuse you. You were the one too busy being Ginger's nurse to take care of your fatherly duties. Why are you trying to hurt me? <sighs> hate to break the news to you, bro. Brianna's getting a divorce. Oh, don't worry. You'll have visitation rights. You can see your son every other homeroom. Supervised, of course. Later. <laughs> 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 Me. And then called my mama on the phone and tried to kill her. What? Oh, hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, what's, what's up, baby, man? And fell let. Wants <laughs> adding another woman to his wall of sexual harassment. I mean, who wants to sit here and stare at breasts all day? <laughs> Come on, Flex. You going soft on us, man? Hey, I'm in a relationship now. The only breasts I can stare at are in a bucket of KFC. <laughs> no, Flex. Yeah. Why don't you check out my new hot fudge Sunday? <laughs> Oh, my God. This is no hot fudge Sunday. This is my sister. Oh, what are you saying? Hey. 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 Where did you get this filthy smut? How dare you bring this, this trash into my dad's family establishment? Which one of y'all brought it here? Oh, huh? Hey. Which one of y'all? Who brought it here? Uh, Flex, it's your dad's magazine. He's had a subscription to Mahogany Man for years. He's been reading ever since Eartha Kitt poses Mahogany Mate in 1952. <laughs> mm, prrr, Marcus, I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> Listen, Flex, your sister's beautiful. Huh? And the picture's very tasty. I mean, tasteful. <laughs> Sorry, man. Her booty confuses me. Man. I mean, her body. <laughs> I'll be over here. You know, I'm not hating or nothing, but it looks very airbrushed. I mean, come on. Those whipped cream peaks are just a little too perky to be real. Okay, all right, stop it, stop it. Y'all talking about my little sister here. Keep your eyes off her peaks. That's right, you know what? We better get this thing out of here before you perverts make a little shrine to it. You know, decorate it with flowers and scented candles. Maybe prop it up on a pillow while sipping a little Hennessy. <laughs> and wishing you weren't lactose intolerant. Man, give me that. Then I'm gonna take this home and burn it before my father sees it. Before your father sees what? Well? Uh, I was wonder wondering, Dad, if, uh, what would you say if you saw Dwayne eat this paper? What? Oh. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Now turn. Oh my God, it's spreading. Another hot fudge Sunday in the making. Brianna, take your papoose and vamoose. And left and right. And Brianna. Said, okay, and bye. <laughs> What's got you so upset? Bird, you lied to me. You said you quit law to become a model. Not a hot fudge Sunday. <laughs> Wow, my mahogany man issue. Did they use my cream cheese spread too? Oh, for the love of dairy, just stop it. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Don't act like you never look at women in those magazines. Now, I remember you and Dwayne sneaking to the basement to look at Dad's National Geographics. I had a thirst for travel. <laughs> You really caring about the plight of the bush women of the Kalahari. You had a thirst for tribal breasts. Bernadette, I may be a peeper, but you, you you're a shower. Shame on you. Flex, I'm proud of my pictures. For the first time, I wasn't just Richard and Eunice's daughter or Flex's chunky baby sister. 
I was Bernadette, the hot chick. Yeah, with sprinkles on top. <laughs> now I understand why you stopped through here and wanted to stay with me. You set me up. You weren't scared to tell Dad that you didn't want to be a lawyer anymore. You wanted me to prepare him for the real skin formation. I didn't trick you into doing anything you weren't going to do anyway. Tattletale. <gasps> How dare you? you? I'm telling Dad. Uh. Coming in here all naked, covered in cool whip. <laughs> Trying to ruin my precious relationship with my dad. Hello, Daddy? Yeah, Bernie did have something she wants to tell you. <laughs> Bernadette. Burn. Oh, look at our little babies. How'd you get yours to sit up so straight? It's the starch I use. <laughs> Can't pick up my son. You're late. He's been sitting by the window waiting for you all day. Look, Brianna, I didn't come here to fight. I came here for the boy and to give you these. Oh, that's so sweet. Ethiopia, we gotta go down to the arcade and get you a daddy. And this is for little Nazi. Oh. Hey, little Arnie, look what your stepdaddy wanted six flights for you. <laughs> Arnie? His name is Arnes Jr. Did it right, bro? Hey, man, look, I'm just saying. Okay, things. you guys, let's not argue in front of the children. <laughs> This better be good. I had to put on pants to come over here. Just, just a minute, Pop. I think Bernadette needs to be here for this. I can't believe you locked me outside, Nicole. That is so Ow. juvenile. I had to keep you from running away again. Now, Dad, Bernadette has something she needs to tell you. Why don't you tell her? No, why don't you tell her? No, you tell her. Go ahead, tell Well, you. somebody better say something. My belt hand is feeling a little itchy. <laughs> okay, well, I hate to be the one to break this to you, Dad, but... I posed for a picture in a men's magazine. Ha ha, I beat you. Well, he's gonna beat you. <laughs> is that what this is all about? I saw that picture. I didn't care for it, but I'm too old to throw a fit over it. Besides, when you told me she was going to be a model, I had a feeling there'd be some posing for the camera involved. That's it? You're not upset about it? Of course I'm upset. She could have mentioned the shopping article. Oh, Daddy, this isn't fair. Whip her. He's not gonna flex because he loves me more. That's not true. I really can't stand neither one of you. <laughs> you, young lady, are a spoiled little brat whose naked butt is gonna pay me back for law school. Dad! And you a tattletale, mister. <laughs> now, if the two of you will excuse me, there's a foot-long meatball sub waiting for me at home, and I am gonna eat it on the good couch with no TV tray and no pants. <laughs> I guess I'll call a cab. Burn up. I'll take you to the airport. Look, I'm sorry I disappointed you. Yeah, me too. Look, Flex, I know you hated those pictures, but they're a stepping stone, you know, something to jumpstart my career. Yeah, and a couple of old men's hearts. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll be on the cover of Essence before you know it. I just hope we can get past this. I'll try. I never eat whipped cream again. <laughs> I guess my uh, little sister is not my little sister anymore. She's a grown up. Oh, can I be your grown up little sister? You'll always be my Superman. You'll always be my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> Arnaz, what's up with you? I don't know. I guess this homework assignment just got me thinking. I'm not ready to be a husband and a father. It just gets to me seeing Josh with you and my son. You know this is all make-believe, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. <laughs> if 
for now. What? Voicemail? Arnis, turn on your phone! <laughs> Daddy, it's been a whole week and Arnis still hasn't called. And I'm pretty sure he knows how to use his phone because I showed him again before we left. <laughs> Oh, baby, I'm sure he's fine. We would have heard something by now. I mean, that's what the 11 o'clock news is for. Daddy! Look, baby, you just need to get your mind off him. Now, why don't you come to work with me again? They're unveiling a new flex file set. I know why you've been dragging me down to work all week. I promised you I won't run away to New York again. Oh, that's right. You did run away there, didn't you? Oh, I forgot all about that. Oh, really? So is that why you nailed my window shut? Uh, baby, that was because of the West Nile virus. Uh, look, you coming with me is, is about us spending time together. Mm-hmm. Come on, Daddy. I thought we talked about this. You can trust me. I won't run away and make you cry again. Hey, I never said I cried. It was more like a mist. Remember, if we have a problem, we agree we should talk about it. I'm going to be 18 soon, an adult, and you have to treat me like one. I, mean, I don't have to, but, but I'm going to. Now, where's my rent money? <laughs> Finally, I promise. Uh, I, I, I'm going to be calm, I'm going to be rational, and, and I trust you. You can call me Zen Daddy. <laughs> and Zen Daddy's okay with you not coming with him to work. Mm -hmm. All right? So I'll see you when I get... Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't try. When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you let me go? Maybe you get to the back one no one one no one Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one no one Just before Now we have a bond Yeah, yeah, yeah One on one Yeah, 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 Good afternoon, all. Today is a big day. And not just for me, well, mainly for me, but for all of us. Yes, for all of us. Today, the Flex Files will forever become a part of that vast world that we call syndication. <laughs> just call me Oprah Light. <laughs> oh, and here he is, the man responsible for making all our dreams come true. Well, mainly mine. <laughs> the king of Queens World Syndication, Matt Johnson, everybody. Give it up for him. He may be short, but he's rich. Come on, y'all. And as for you, Flex, two words. Yard sale. <laughs> Your show's not happening. What, what are you talking about? What about syndication? What about Oprah Light? <laughs> Holly's out. She had a terrible accident. Too much collagen injected into her lips. <laughs> Oh, man, you look like two hot legs on her face. <laughs> Matt, see, you may see someone as horribly disfigured, but I see someone as the person reaching out to the ugly audience. Max, ugly people don't buy things. Nothing looks good on them. I'm sorry, but there is no show without Holly. Look, you can't do this to me, Matt. Look, I I've worked for years to get the Flex Files syndicated. I've sacrificed... Everything, relationships, family, even my political aspirations. Flex for president, gone. Listen, buddy boy, I got a hundred television stations expecting a new show starring you and a beautiful girl. I'm sorry. That's a wrap, everybody. Thank you for your help. I've got some UPS job applications if anyone's interested. <laughs> Don't give up on me, all right? Give me a chance. I can come up with something. You know, I like you, Flex. Normally, tall black men scare me, but... <laughs> You'll get your extra time. As it happens, Matalicious has a hot date tonight, so you have 24 hours. If I get lucky, you get lucky. <laughs> Fresh hot popcorn. And maybe that's my new show. I cook, I do sports. I'll call it Hoops and Soups. <laughs> a sports makeover show. Each week you can give some football player a makeover. At least that way people would have a reason to watch the show. <laughs> Daddy, go watch the game at Dwayne's. Game? 
Ain't no game on. Look, I know this is father-daughter spirit time, but go be with your friends. We can't run away. Our nails are wet. Sweetie, girl, move out the way. Sweetie, I want to make sure we spend enough time together. I mean, we both know what happens when I get too busy. We get better snacks. I mean, sorry, ever since we were starving artists in New York, I see the value of food. And we're not going back, so just go. Okay, but I'm not going because I love football more than you. I love both of you equally. <laughs> Ooh, my phone is ringing. I bet you was on this. It's you. Oh, yeah, I was sitting on my phone. See, if they had Ricky Williams, they'd be going for it instead of trying to kick a field goal. What happened to coaches who take chances? They get fired. <laughs> I mean, how can Ricky just walk away and quit the NFL at 27? He didn't want to run on grass anymore. He wanted to smoke it. <laughs> Flex, what are you going to do about the show now that Holly's out? I don't know, man. It's been racking my brain, and I keep coming back to the same thing. Me. <laughs> Wasn't that what the show was before? Exactly. And who bought that show? <laughs> well, you sure are cranky when you have no future. <laughs> and no neck. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering what keeps your head up. <laughs> Where's your neck? Where's your neck? Oh, Where's your neck? I can't. <laughs> Turtle Boy has a point. You need to come up with something different. I mean, I know. I, I don't want some dumb sidekick again. You know, if they're gonna give me somebody, why can't it be somebody who knows sports? You know, like you guys. You know, the four of us just riffing, talking about the week's sports topics. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, I know what you're thinking. Yeah? You're thinking, if we use a coupon, we can get an extra pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and no one will notice that I ain't kicking in. <laughs> no, Dwayne, I'm talking about this, this, man. This is my show. You see, everyone else uses celebrities. See, with you guys, I can reach the common man, the average Joe, the loser that no one cares about. I could spin records. A Ace, man, it's, it's a sports show, man. It's, it's no records. No, but I'm good. I mean, like... I, I, no, 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 cut him, Flex. Cut him. He's being difficult. He's ruining our show. And I need this, man. I beg you, Flex. I haven't been able to find a job. I'm running out of money. Cut him. Just let him go. Cut him. Indian food. What about some Indian food? Can we get some Indian food? Arnaz loves curry. Arnaz doesn't even know what curry is. He thinks curry is the guy running for president. Well, I never thought I would miss Arnaz this much. I really blew it, didn't I? Pizza? Did you say pizza? <laughs> Look, I didn't want to get involved with him because I didn't want to lose him as a friend. But now I've lost him anyway. He's gone. It's not too late. Maybe you can call him and tell him how you feel. And while you do that, I'm gonna call a pizza man and tell him how I feel. <laughs> you know what? You're right. It's about time I told Arnez that I love him. Oh, my God, I love him. <laughs> what? His phone is still off? Oh, I can't stand him. <laughs> Why did I say something when I had the chance? I'll never love anyone again. Now I have to grow old with you. <laughs> nuh -uh, I'm getting a man. <laughs> Thank God I have you. Come on, we can go get something to eat. <laughs> How about some pizza? <laughs> hey, somebody say pizza. Oh, Arnaz, we're so happy to see you. Go! I miss you, too. So nice seeing your face. Mmm, you smell like bread. And I'm starving. How about I get something to eat? So, you're back. What happened? Well, when you run out of money and have to give blood five days in a row just for orange juice and cookies, it's time to go home. Yeah, I have to admit, things haven't been much fun around here without you. Brianna and I were just talking about that, weren't we, Brianna? <laughs> yes. I was just saying that I never realized how annoying Spirit was without you being around. <laughs> but the important thing is that you're back. Thanks. Hey, you guys gonna eat this bacon grease? <laughs> I'm not putting up with any more of this Brianna Arnaz drama. You need to tell him how you feel, or I'm walking out that door. <laughs> okay, look, we both know I ain't got nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you said if you ever had the chance, you'd say something, and here's your chance. Okay. You win. I'm gonna do this. Um, Arnaz, I have something that I want to say. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, it, it's like this. You and me, we've been going Ooh, back... My syndication dreams aren't dead. My new show has me, Arnaz... Arnaz! <laughs> what are you doing here? Spirit, lock the door. Gary, relax. I'm not going anywhere. You're not going to hurt me, are you? Because I'm frail. I'm weak. And my blood doesn't clot anymore. <laughs> Daddy, remember, you're my zen daddy. You're right. You're right. That was the old flex. This is zen flex. Arnez, my home is your home. <laughs> you know, it's funny you should say that. Your home being my home, because when we were in New York, you said if I ever need anything to let you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I need something. A place to crash until I figure things out, like going to school and where I'm going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You asked me last week. I said, "What over my dead body?" But this is the new flex. Man, of course you can crash on my couch. Man, come on, man. Hey, eat some bread. So, Arnaz is staying here in our house. Yep, because I trust you, and because Zen Daddy wouldn't say no, would he? <laughs> Hey, you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My lines. I forgot my lines. D Dwayne, there aren't any lines, man. It's all improv. That's the hook. Man, improv? Are you mad? I'm not Wayne Brady. <laughs> Though I can't dance. <laughs> okay, well, now I got my show down. I'm gonna check on my baby, all right? Hey, Brianna. Hey, sweetie. Where's Inez? No, I thought you brought him up. <laughs> well, so, since you did, what's he doing? So put him on. Yeah, yeah, Arnez, yeah. Uh, I'll be home after my Taekwondo class. What the? Lex, like you to meet my new girlfriend, Rania Roshenko. Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's all yours. Isn't she hot? I met her on my Croatian bachelor tour. Bachelor tour? Yeah. It's when these black women like me who live on potatoes and beets are marched into a room filled with filthy, rich American men. And I mean, it was love at first sight. <laughs> well, as long as it's true love, I'm sure she's uh, very sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad you like her, Flex, because she's your new co-host. Oh, co-host? Man, I thought you were going to give me a chance to come up with my own show. Well, what about them? Say holla. Holla. <laughs> The homeless guys, the security will take care of them. <laughs> no, man, those are my boys. That's, that's the show. It is regular guys talking about sports. Damn. Maybe I cannot work with Belle Biv de Fat. <laughs> Matt, darling, you fix this. And I will be over there trying those ho hos I heard so much about. <laughs> For three hundred dollars and a carton of Marlboros, you could have her sister. <laughs> Matt, buddy, look, I'm trying to make a living here, and you're pairing me up with this Eastern Bloc Barbie. <laughs> Wake up and smell the vodka, man. She's using you. Look, I know this looks bad, but look at me. Now look at her. <laughs> now look at me again. Now her again. <laughs> God, I love this power I have. But what about my idea? It appeals to the common man. Uh, he's flex. People love the hot couple thing. I mean, they want another J-Lo and Denzel. And J-Lo's not with Denzel. Give her time. <laughs> now, come on, flex. A smart guy like you knows the Croatian market is untapped. <laughs> but what about my guys, man? I can't fire them. Jeez. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. Hey, Flex's friends, you're fired. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, except you, big guy. We'll find something for you to do. I can spin records. <laughs> records? Oh, that's perfect for a sports show. But I'm not just saying that because I'm scared of you. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, but I fought for you. Flex, we were right here. <laughs> Ace, no hard feelings. 
I mean, the show business. We got beat out by boobs. <laughs> Hers and his. Well, why, why don't you guys go over to the uh, food table and grab as much as you can, and, uh, you know, that's the least I can do. <laughs> Sweetheart, you look beautiful. All right, uh, Flex, let's do a dry run. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the end of my dreams. <laughs> I mean, the Flex Files. <laughs> so what does my co-host want to talk about today? Squirrel and moose? I would like to talk about Terrell Owens and how he's going to lead the Eagles to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, well, it's still a tough division with Joe Gibbs returning to Washington as coach. I know, and Eli Manning going to the Giants, but I still like the Eagles. Javon Kersey, he's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> they lost Troy Benson. They got the Honey Jones. They lost Carlos Emans. He's damaged goods. 71 solo tackles last year. He broke his leg. He'll be back. He's done. Oh, oh, oh. I love this. It's like the Cold War all over again. Only you're Reagan and you're Gorbachev, and it's like with cleavage and a clear forehead. So, Arnest slept all day? Yep, lazy boy with no goals, no direction, and no body fat. God, I love him. <laughs> oh, here's an idea I had just a hundred times. Tell him. Spirit, you don't understand. I can't. My dad will never let me live with my boyfriend, and I love having him here. He always has his shirt off. <laughs> Hello. Stop being so logical and selfish. At the very least, do it for me, for the romantic in me who never gets to savor life's true treasure. Love. Now go. You're right. I should do it. You know, it wouldn't kill you to say, don't worry, spirit, you'll find love. Not right now. <laughs> hey, Arnez, how's your sandwich? Tell him! <laughs> Arnez, can we go somewhere and talk? Uh, somewhere private, like the roof? Oh, OK. Well, I should put on a warmer shirt. to talk about spirit, right? We need to find her a man. How about the guy around the corner who collects cans? This is about me and you. Look, Arnez, I should have said this a long time ago. I know I told you that I just wanted to be friends. But while you were gone, all I could do was think about you and how much I wanted to do this. Man, look at them. Little sneak. I'm gonna kill him. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, on. Hold on, Zen Daddy. Now, think about it, all right? If you overreact now, you might push her away. Baby for good. You don't want that, do you? Man, those kids can hold their breath. That's it. Okay, right. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Wait, it's just killing me, man. I'll be an enlightened parent, but I'm not gonna be a stupid parent. He has to go. Hey, come on, Flex. Man, where's your compassion? I mean, the boy's practically an orphan. Man, he's got no place to go. Oh, man. You're right, man. I gotta help him. So I'm sorry. Hey! 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 Nice to see you, too. Um, Brianna, why don't you go ahead and start dinner, huh? But I'm Just go ahead. <laughs> uh, Arnez, uh, you're gonna be living with Dwayne now. Huh? Oh, Dwayne. Look, change. Mike! Mike! Hey, Inez, look, uh, Dwayne has fallen on some hard times. Look, now he lost his job, he lost his girlfriend, lost another job today. Uh, and he can really use the companionship and the rent money. I can't afford rent, Mr. Washington. I'll take care of the rent. See, I can't give it to him directly. Dwayne's got too much pride. Dwayne? <laughs> Oh, you can't tell, but he's very embarrassed right now. I don't know, Mr. Washington. It just sounds like a lot of work. I, you know what? I forgot to tell you, though. You don't have no choice. <laughs> hey, uh, Dwayne, man, thanks for taking Arnez in, man. M Flex, if this is about you being afraid that I need the money and that I'm lonely, well, you're right. Thanks, dog. <laughs> Oh, oh, 
What's going on here? Uh, has it been that long since Candy left you, Dwayne? He <laughs> <laughs> got, got me. He got me. Brianna, uh, could you come help Zen Daddy run his new lines for his new show promos? Oh, Arnez, I didn't realize you were here. Zen! <laughs> Who's funny now? <laughs> Miss a spot. Oh, yeah, you're right. I see it. <laughs> hey, Spirit. I'm dusty. No, you're musty. There's a difference. <laughs> Where's Charlie with our food? I'm starving. Oh, goody. Charlie's coming. Just what this apartment needs. More trash. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. <laughs> Arnaz, why does Charlie have a shiny key to your apartment? Well, she sets up the equipment since she's not in school like we are. Butter's not in school? Yeah, I'm in the school of life. Sometimes my classes run a little late. <laughs> so, let's see. Yes. Hey, we need some glasses for the soda. Uh, too bad they're all dirty. Ah, uh, we can wait. Yeah, would you wash a few for us, baby? Brianna, you're not really gonna wash their glasses, are you? Nah, <laughs> but I'm about to make them lemony fresh. <laughs> after my Taydig's calendar. What's so important? <laughs> well, I wanted to tell you about something that happened out of the shop today, but with mechanic-client confidentiality, I don't know if I should. And you wonder why the neighborhood kids throw dirt rocks at you. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I gotta tell somebody. <laughs> New edition came down to the shop today. <laughs> New edition? Oh, my God. I used to make out with my pillow to popcorn love. Oh, my God. I did not just say that. <laughs> They're in town for a concert, and they want me to trick out one of their Hummers for their next video. <laughs> man, I can't wait to tell Flex, man. He loves New Edition. Back in high school, he was in a New Edition tribute band all by himself. <laughs> I mean, he attached four mannequins to a stick and made them all dance. <laughs> it didn't really work. Don't bring it up. Stop, uh, Flex, have I got some news for you. I know that's really interesting, but my news is about me. Man, I just ran into Natalie. She's married and pregnant. Your ex-fiancé, Natalie? Uh, pregnant? Wait a second, I thought you guys broke up because she didn't want to have a baby. Yeah, we did. I guess she changed her mind. Eh, just like a woman. Wow, and her being pregnant doesn't bother you? Well, now that you mention it, she did look a little puffy. I didn't stand close enough to her to make people think I was with her. Flex, come on, we're your friends. The rejection that you're feeling must be devastating. Yeah, come on, man. It's not that she didn't want to have a baby. She didn't want to have a baby with you. <laughs> Intensity, the sky's the limit. You think he know there's a limit to his talent? <laughs> oh, look, Mikey makes a little noise. It's like a tambourine. <laughs> oh well, you know what happens to tambourines? <laughs> they get shaken. Yeah. Hey, Alice. Huh? I need your big, strong muscles to move this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to start shaking. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you promised Arnaz you'd chill out on the whole jealousy thing. But that was irrational jealousy before. Now it's rational. She has a key to his apartment, where he lives, where he showers, where he takes his shirt off. Girl, 
You take your shirt off everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's always walking around naked. At least I wear a sarong. And maybe later, I could show you what's so right about my so wrong. <laughs> Girl, listen, before you go all OJ on them, I got a better plan. Hey, Ernest. Mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't help but notice that Charlie has a key to your place and Brianna doesn't. I mean, isn't that a little weird? What's weird about it? Brianna's your girl and she doesn't have a key. Oh, Brianna wants a key. Why didn't you just say something, boo? Well, I guess I never really thought about it. But sure, I'll take a key. That way, if you get locked out, you can call me. Yeah, or Charlie. Just give me the key, boy. <laughs> Dwayne, why are you so bundled up? It's not that cold outside. Well, it's not for the cold. It's for those dirt rock heathens. <laughs> that little Jimmy can throw a curveball. <laughs> Look, I was just about to check on Flex. Do you think he's okay? Uh, you know what? I'm sure he's fine. I mean, he probably went out on a date last night with a little fresh apple. <laughs> then came home and went to bed with a smile on his face. Uh, I don't think so, Dwayne. No, that's that's what he did. <laughs> See, I watched him leave last night with my binoculars. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna go check on Flex. He has to get past Natalie. If he doesn't, we'll never have a healthy relationship. I, I mean, he'll never have a healthy relationship with me. I mean, anyone. You know what? Just move. <laughs> Yeah, baby, Flex lives over here. <laughs> Danielle, I'm telling you, he's fine. Excuse me. I have $80,000 in school loans and three degrees on the wall that say you're wrong. <laughs> well, I have 280 hours of Dr. Phil and an autographed Oprah Winfrey mug that says you're wrong. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat the whole pie. Although I could, because I look like this, and uh, not like that. I told you I was right. And this keeps me warm in the winter. Flex, just sit down. We want to talk to you about Natalie. Yeah, she wants to talk to you about Natalie. We want to talk to the pizza. Flex, your ex fiance told you that she didn't want to have children. And then the next time you see her, she's pregnant. What does that tell you? That the diaphragm I found in my medicine cabinet must have been hers? <laughs> Funny flex, but as I understand it, this was the most important relationship of your life since Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the little man over there. <laughs> flex, I know you think I'm pushing you kind of hard, but aren't you feeling betrayed? Mm, a little bit. A little bit? Flex, you loved her. Yeah, I loved her a lot. I, I loved her... Enough to want to have a baby with her. Go on. But she didn't want to have my baby. She wanted somebody else's baby. <laughs> you know what? You, you're right. I, I feel humiliated. Yes, Flex, yes! Yeah, dog, you got your face cracked. <laughs> oh, man. You know, you think you're cool with something, and then you realize that you're not. It's like I was hiding something, and, and you guys uncovered it. Doesn't it feel better to get it all out? You know what? I do feel better. I feel cleansed, man. I've talked about Natalie and I've dealt with her pregnancy. I'm over it. You'll never hear me mention Natalie or her baby again. <laughs> Who's up for a movie? Uh, Flex, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I'm eating ice cream because ice cream will always be good to you. Ice cream will never betray you. Uh, Flex, did you go to work today? How can I go to work when Natalie's walking around with another man's baby? <laughs> but it's your show, Flex. What about Rania, man? She'll take over. Uh, she can have it. <laughs> Women always get what they want. Let's face it, man. It's their world. They can string you along, accept your big, fat engagement ring, uh, tell you they don't want to have a baby, break up with you, and then show up pregnant. <laughs> That's it. I give up. Women always get what they want. <laughs> What's that, Natalie? <laughs> you want some ice cream? Oh, well, there it is. There's some ice cream. <laughs> that looks good. May I have some with you? Please! <laughs> oh, come on! 
on, man! Pull yourself together, you're licking a picture! Oh, Lord, I'm a mess! So, Natalie, I wasn't good enough to be your baby's daddy, huh? I make pretty babies. Look at Brianna. Sassy, but pretty. <laughs> what have you done, woman? Well, I have just never seen anyone break down like this before. It's not like Natalie's that cute anyway. But thanks to you, my boy's a mess, and I have to fix him. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Stuff him full of hot wings and make him watch BET Uncut? And after that, I'm gonna implement my plan. <laughs> give, give up the photo, dog. Come, come on, on, no, come, come on, on, man, no. Okay, to raise money for this year's trip, I propose, besides car washes and bake sales, we do personal appearances. Why send a card when you can send a chair? Push them back, push them back, way back. Happy anniversary! Dude, she's taking over. This is bad. Brianna, what's going on? Hey, baby, we're just having a cheerleader meeting. I thought it would be more fun to meet here than in the gym. Oh, hey, a cheerleader meeting. <laughs> I guess it's more important than that music. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait one minute. Just call us when you get your house in order. Brianna, what just happened here? I know. What's up with Charlie's attitude problem? <laughs> she seems a little unstable to me. <laughs> if I was your I'd get my key back. <laughs> Keep them close. Now, now on the count of three, you can let your hands down. Ready? One, two, three. Say something. Uh, what I'm talking about, baby. This video shoot is going to be incredible, yo. <laughs> I know Ralph's going to really love this. Man. I know one thing. You better make that flight tomorrow night. Right. We should have never let him go judge that Miss Watts California beauty contest, man. Man, somebody had to do it, Ralph. Right? Wasn't going to be me, though, man. <laughs> A disco ball? <laughs> Man, you were serious, wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fellas. You know what? I, I tried to go the extra mile, and my boys worked overtime. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> See these rims? Man, you can't get those in the United States. <laughs> and the disco ball, handmade. Look at it. Fingers. Working all night on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? Do we owe you any extra money or what? Oh, no, no. I can't take your money, man. Y'all new addition. All right, man. Huh? We're cool. All right, all right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> However, uh, would you like to grant a wish? A death wish? It's so nice to have a key to my man's apartment. It'd be nice to have a man. <laughs> my key's not working. That's strange. Hey, guys. Hey, I think something's wrong with my key. Oh, really? Try mine. Ah, oh, look, my new cure works perfectly. You know, this whole idea of a concert to cheer me up was a waste of time. I'm going home to eat ice cream with Natalie's picture. No, no, wait, 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 Lex. Now, what if we told you you weren't here to see a concert? You were here to be a concert. <laughs> Tonight, you're gonna dance up on stage with New Edition. Don't mess with me, Dwayne. You don't tease about new edition, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not messing with you, Flex. Dwayne set it up. I, I'm going to perform with new edition? Tonight? Here? Looking like this? Man, I look like death warmed over. <laughs> well, I, actually, that's a good thing. See, the only reason they agreed is because I told them you were dying. <laughs> dying? And you lied to them, D? No, Flex. I mean, I mean we're all dying. <laughs> Man, I don't know, man. That's the sneakiest, dirtiest, most underhanded thing you have ever oh, done. Oh, they're I here, they're here. Oh, 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 should I spit a blood? Because I can bite my tongue. Do it. Hey, Dwayne, where's your man Flex? Oh, uh, right here, man. Uh, I mean, right here is where they drain the fluid from, from my lungs. <laughs> man, you look bad. <laughs> you sure you're well enough to go on stage with us? Oh, are you kidding, man? My doctor said I have at least one good performance left in me. Or maybe two. It depends on where your tour's headed. Are you sure about that, man? Because you know our choreography is pretty tight. 
Oh, oh really? Uh, does it look something like this? Man, I mean, we don't have to talk about this show. Hold on. Hey, yes. Hold on. Moan. Flex, moan. What? Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. We talked about it again. Since Ralph missed his flight, we figured you'd make a nice addition to the new edition. Yeah. Hold, hold on, man. But I got one request. You, you got to change, man, because you, you stink. <laughs> what? He stinks. It, is that a part of the disease? <laughs> Yo, man, do we grab the wrong keys or what? It's not working. No! <laughs> Brianna! Hey, guys. Oh, on this funny thing. My key didn't work in the lock, so I had the apartment manager install a new one. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny! <laughs> Not that funny, dude. <laughs> Look, Arnez, I know you changed the locks. We ran into Charlie letting herself in with her new key. Well, well sorry I gave you the whole changing of the key idea, dude. <laughs> I had nothing to do with any of this. Arnez, if you don't want me to have your key, you could have just asked for it back. Yeah, right, Brianna. Like, that would have gone over well. Are you saying I'd be jealous? Listen, Arnez, I can accept the fact that you don't want me to have a key to your apartment, but it's a little hard not to be jealous when Charlie gets a key and I don't. I told you, Brianna, Charlie needs to have a key for bad business. Well, I'm your business. I'm your girlfriend. Exactly. And whenever you're here, I'm here. So what do you need a key for? I don't know. Because Charlie has one. <laughs> If having a key is that important to you, then you have to respect Butters and my privacy. Okay, fair enough. But don't just give out your key to another woman and not tell me. Done. Look, it's just a stupid key, Brianna. And you have the one thing Charlie will never have. My heart. Arnaz, you're right. And to show you I'm past this whole key thing, I'm going to give you your key back. Here. <laughs> Who are you fooling? I know you made a copy. You're right. <laughs> now, where did I put that? First groupie. <laughs> Do you hear that? They're calling my name. Yo, flex me. Come on. It's an encore, baby. Come on. I, I, oh, okay. I, I. Uh, so, before I
So, uh, you were saying? Um, I was just... I just want what's best for us. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, all of us. You know, clients and therapists alike. Mm -hmm. Sally Bride. <laughs> Daddy, Natalie's not gonna look at wedding magazines. What you need is a grand gesture, like a room full of roses, ooh, or a four million dollar ring. <laughs> Sweetie, with all due respect, and by that I mean mind your business, Natalie's a 30-year-old, never been married woman. Man, I could take her to Denny's and this whole thing would blow over. Now that's just cheap, Daddy. Try to buy her love with eggs over my hammy. Now me, I take her on a vacation. A romantic getaway is a perfect way to say, I'm frequently wrong, get used to it. Please, I don't need to take her on a vacation to win her love. Nothing would make my woman happier than planning our wedding. I'm not planning a wedding with a married man. Are you crazy? <laughs> Check out page 30, the taffeta's tight, yo. Yeah? <laughs> uh, but you haven't heard the best part. Uh, I'm also gonna take you on a vacation. A vacation? Yes, uh, uh, a romantic island getaway. Uh, Sunset Island, a tropical island paradise where Cupid doesn't shoot you with a bow, he shanks you in the heart. Will he be shanking us from a penthouse suite with an ocean view? You can't put a price on shanking. Wait, where have I heard this whole island idea before? Mm, oh, yeah, at the mall. <laughs> Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'll be there. got the courage to meet my father this weekend. So what day is best for you? I'm thinking Sunday, because he should meet his son on that day. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, man. I promised Natalie I'd take her on a romantic getaway. Please. I mean, when is she gonna get over this me still being married thing? Fiancés, what you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna run out to the corner and bring her back a salad. Would you mind entertaining her while I'm gone? I'm still doing damage control. Oh, you can't do me a favor, but I'm supposed to entertain your girlfriend the minute you ask me for one? I bring you back some Melba toast. Oh, <laughs> sounds like you just earned yourself some jazz hands. <laughs> oh, hey, Nat. So I hear the wedding is back on. Ah, uh, it was never off. I just had to make them dance. Girl, Girl things? things? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm happy for you. I think you're gonna make a great wife to Flex and a great stepmom to Little Miss Sass. <laughs> wow, stepmom. Yeah, you were gonna be there for all the teenage wonder years. <laughs> the name calling, the door slamming, the visits from social services. <laughs> oh God, you're lucky. I never thought about that. I mean, I've thought about that, but I never thought about that. Now you've got me thinking about that. Man, I hate my life. I just saw Arnez walking down the street with another girl. And she was cuter than me. <laughs> I wonder what time it is in South Africa. My mommy knows how to talk to no man, Brianna. Oh, sweetie, you can talk to me. No, you don't want any part of this. You're lucky you're going away this weekend. I'm just going to sit here, eat some Oreos, and listen to Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip hop pain. No, you shouldn't be by yourself. Come with me and your dad to Sunset Island. You should be around family. No, it's OK. I've got my heartache to keep me company. 
And then spirit will be the cherry on my Sunday and sorrow. <laughs> well, spirit can come too. Dwayne, you don't think Flex would mind, right? Uh, yeah, what's a romantic getaway without two teenage girls? <laughs> Baby, here we go. A Greek salad for my Greek goddess. Oh, perfect timing. I'm starved. Oh, by the way, I asked Brianna to come with us this weekend. Oh, was that Melba Toast? Oh, my, my, my! <laughs> uh, what was that madness about Brianna coming with us? I'm sorry. She just seems so depressed. If you want, I could go tell her she can't come. That is, if you want me to look like an evil stepmom. <laughs> Natalie, she's a teenager. You can't go back on your word. It just gives them an excuse to run off and have sex. Thank you, sweetie. Speaking of sex, <laughs> Brianna coming along with us means we have to be very creative. So uh, when I say I'm going to get some ice, I'm not really going to get some ice. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Spirit said she could come too. Oh, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> okay, so now when I say I'm going to get some ice, I'm, I'm probably really going to get some ice. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, look at this room. It feels like my love life. Drab, faded, and full of funk. Man, this, this doesn't look anything like the room in the brochure. Look, see? See the room in the brochure? Ain't no crust on the curtains. I want the room in the brochure. Oh, yeah, you'd have to go to the Hilton for that. Yeah, we use their brochures. Hey, you're all checked in, and everywhere else in town's all sold out, you know? Big college weekend. <laughs> college boys! are not for this gal. Well, oh, enjoy your stay. Oh, I'll be sure to leave a mint on your pillow, shouty. Hey, you stay away from her pillow, shouty. I know you don't want no tip. You better get... This place isn't so bad. Oh. Hey, at least the door covers the floor stains. I ain't complaining. Free is free. Let's all uh, look on the bright side. Hey, do we have a choice? Natalie, a little lesson in parenting. I'm trying to show the girls that adversity builds character, and we can all grow from this. Just like the mushrooms growing in the carpet. <laughs> okay, Spirit, well, let's go see what's growing down by the pool. <laughs> now, sweetie, I know you're kind of vulnerable right now. So when you guys leave, I want you to look at the ground. Don't make any direct eye contact with these island boys. Uh, uh, uh. Eyes down. <laughs> What's up with that? Lex, after everything Brianna's been through, she's very delicate. I just don't want to see our little girl get hurt again. Ah, oh, listen to you talking like a little stepmommy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's freaking me out. Oh, baby, don't worry. You're going to be great. I know you. And besides, you'll be learning from the master. Lesson one, when the kids are gone, we get it on. <laughs> you know what? I don't think those girls have any sunscreen. Lesson two. What's on pay-per-view? <laughs> oh, love, bunny. You want me to be there with you when you meet your father? I'd be honored. Oh, see? <laughs> That's why I asked you first, my leggy lover. Oh. <laughs> see, I've been thinking. It's important to make a good first impression. I want him to see that I've grown up to become a, a well-adjusted, successful, honest man. Oh, I understand, sweetie. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I need you to lie and pretend to be my wife. <laughs> what? Candy, please. I mean, the last time the man saw me, I was crawling across the floor and drooling. I want him to see how far I've come. Baby, come here, you got a little drool right there. <laughs> oh, sweet Moses, I'm regressing. <laughs> Candy, please help me. All right? I don't want to be some weak, pathetic, desperate loser. <laughs> For the love of God, Candy. <laughs> Being my wife, woman. Listen, I have had a lot of proposals to Wayne, but this is the first time my feet have gotten wet. <laughs> Fine. I'll pretend to be your wife. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my sweet concubine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. What do you want, Dwayne? Oh, and we have a son, too. <laughs> Looks like the 
University of mm, 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 is on vacation. Yeah, they're cute, but with Josh and Inez, I had cute and adorable. Forget about those high school boys. Here come two frat brothers from Gamma Phi Gorgeous. Ah, you girls having a good time? We are now. Cool, cool. My name is Denver, and this is my buddy Lance. Well, I'm Spirit, and this is my friend... Beyonce! Beyonce! Beyonce? I like it. Yeah, me too. Hey, tonight we're gonna be hanging at the hot tub if you want to stop by. Should be pretty cool. Well, if it's gonna be cool, shouldn't we call it the cool tub? <laughs> we'll see you there. What was that? Girl, I'm sorry, I'm still a little rusty. No worries, we just got dates with two hot guys. We should wear bikinis to school. Hey guys, I got some more brochures from the Hilton. If you stare at it long enough, it's like you're there. Here you go, sweetie. This will keep the sun away. Yeah, but what will I do when the farmer comes to harvest me? Brianna Barnes, you put that hat on right now. Uh, Nat, no offense, but the only thing scarier than that fat guy with the water wings <laughs> is that hat. <laughs> uh, girls, why don't you go get some sodas? I need to talk to your father. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Lex, I don't appreciate you undermining my authority in front of the girls. Baby, no one's undermining you. I'm just saying you need to lighten up. I know you're trying to do your stepmom thing, but remember, she's 16. And 16-year-olds, they don't wear fruit hats. Well, maybe not in Baltimore, but in Spanish Harlem, we rock the fruit hats, Poppy. <laughs> Look, Brianna's nursing a broken heart, and I'm just trying to be there for her. Look, I know you mean well, but you can't protect her from everything. She's bound to get sunburned and heartbroken. Right now, being a good stepmom means giving her room so she can move past her heartbreak. You think you're pretty good at this, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm even better by the ice machine. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, are these stilettos really necessary? Oh, well, they're necessary, but not for my daddy. For this daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I were actually your son, that would be inappropriate. <laughs> but since I'm not, why don't we ditch the little guy and... Get a cup of coffee. <laughs> you can't handle all this, Arnez. Uh-uh, his name's not Arnez, remember. But I hate the name you gave me. Don't sass me, Kiki. Come on, boy. <laughs> all right, girl, let's hurry up and get out of here before my dad and mommy weirdest get back. I mean, Natalie's a great teacher, but as a stepmom, she needs to take a refresher course and back off one-on-one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, outside of McKinley, she's McCrazy. <laughs> hey, girls. Hi, Natalie. Bye, Natalie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Natalie, it's nighttime. We don't need sunscreen or moonscreen. <laughs> yeah, and we've already eaten, so we don't need any hats. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We have friends waiting for us by the pool. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of late. Huh? <laughs> but you know what? You're 16. Go have fun. Whoop it up. I've got to give you room to get past your heartbreak. Oh, thank you, Natalie. And you know what? You're not just a great stepmom. You're step... Pendis. <laughs> Bye, girls. Oh, Flex is gonna be so proud with how I'm handling Brianna. You did what? You let her go to a pool at night with friends? Don't you know that's Brianna E's for I'm getting in the hot tub with college boys? I didn't know. I was just trying to help her move past her heartbreak. Yeah, you helped her right into a boiling hot cauldron of sex soup. <laughs> I should go get her. Oh, I don't think so. You really stepped into something this time, step mommy. <laughs> oh, hey, I brought the shampoo you guys requested. Oh, that's great. That'll come in handy when they turn the water back on, Potsy. <laughs> uh, 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 no. uh, put out your hand. I can't have the whole bottle. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, the people in room 206 will be back soon. I think they'd miss it. <laughs> Well, this is it. Sweetie, I don't think he's gonna know you're here unless you go up there. Yeah. I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, you can, Dad. Remember when you, Mom, and I were lost in that blizzard and you trekked 30 miles through snow to find help? Well, Mother and I spooned for warmth. <laughs> you beat that frost by Dad, you can beat this. Do it for us. You're a good boy, Kiki. Now stop groping your mama. 
<laughs> hey, Beyonce. What's the craziest thing you've ever done in a hot tub? Ooh, uh, the craziest? Um, so many hot tub memories. Uh, this year? Um, I'm so... Oh, ooh, that's up there. <laughs> Craziest thing you. Ah, uh, just kiss. <sighs> oh! Uh, uh Brianna says we have company. Uh, Brianna says we're a little busy. <laughs> Brianna, if you don't get your butt out of those bubbles, I'm coming in! <laughs> but Natalie said we could come down here. Oh, I, is that the hot older chick with the nice apple? <laughs> <laughs> That's my fiance. You talking about your, your broke Maxwell? <laughs> you like apples, then why are you going after our peaches? Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, my God! What are you doing? You're so crazy! Daddy? Oh, this place is kind of creepy. Maybe it's the wrong address. I have a picture of some odd-looking little girl on this box. Oh, my God. That's me. <laughs> she had long curly locks as a child. Oh, sweetie, you were so cute. So my dad did live here. I mean, I don't get it. Is he running from me? I think it's pretty obvious. He's running from the little boy with that perm. Sweetie, didn't that private investigator tell you that your dad's CIA? I mean, maybe he's always on the run. Candy, this address is all I had. And I've been living for this moment. Get a move on it, you jacuzzi floozies. Daddy, don't blame Spirit. She was just trying to help me out of my funk. I don't care, heartbroken or not, sneaking and jumping into a hot tub with college boys is wrong. And you know it, don't you? Don't you? Yes, Daddy. You two go on the balcony and think about what you did. Uh, Daddy, we don't have a balcony. <laughs> Grab one of the brochures from the Hilton and stand in the alley. <laughs> Lex, I'm so sorry. I really messed things up. I don't know if I have what it takes to do this like you do. Sweetie, I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Anyway, you can't compare yourself to me. I mean, come on, I've been doing this for over two years. <laughs> it's all just so complicated. First I try being tough on her, then you tell me to go easy on her. I'm more confused than a black Republican. <laughs> It's okay, sweetie, because when we have a baby of our own, you're going to be a super mom. A uh, baby of our own? Yeah. Flex, Junior. <laughs> if it's a girl, Flex Annetta. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Yeah, Flex Annetta is a bit of a stretch. We can work on that. <laughs> Flex, I don't want to have kids. Honey, you had one bad weekend. There's no need to take yourself out the game. No, I never planned to have kids. What are you talking about? You're a teacher. You're great with kids. Your whole life is kids. Mm, other people's kids. At 3.30, I get to give them back. <laughs> yeah, but you've been trying so hard to be a good stepmom. Well, yeah, I love Brianna. But she dresses herself, she's potty trained, and in two years, she's out the house. <laughs> I just assume you... I wanted to have kids. I just assumed you didn't want any more. I can't believe we never talked about this. We never talked about a lot of things. Well, maybe we can start now. Well, what's there to talk about? I mean, you can't really compromise on something like this, and... 
I've made up my mind. There's nothing I can do to change it? I'm sorry, Flex. I guess you'll be wanting this back. No, uh-uh. I, I, I bought it for you. You keep it. No, I wouldn't feel right. <laughs> It makes you feel better. I didn't want it to end like this. I didn't want it to end at all. <laughs> Goodbye, Natalie. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Beyonce. <laughs> so, Daddy, you and Natalie aren't gonna see each other at all? Well, we're still gonna be friends, sweetie. We just both had different life plans. Hmm, friends, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna transfer out of our class just to be on the safe side. <laughs> <laughs>